Hey, I'm Vince King, Sales Manager with McElroy Manufacturing. In this video, we will show you how to load pipe into the McElroy Quick Camp Shelter in order to make a fusion. We have our Quick Camp paired with a McElroy Megamac Polyhorse Pipe Handling System, which makes moving pipe in and out of the fusion shelter a breeze. Before we even get to the site, let's talk about safety, especially pertaining to large diameter pipe please make sure to read the operator's manual, which covers these safety precautions and more in greater detail. Now, most accidents involving large diameter pipe have had very little to do with the fusion equipment or even the type of pipe they were fusing. People have been seriously injured because they did not pay attention to basic safety precautions. Therefore, make certain you do the following. Make sure you stay out of the way of heavy equipment and pipe. Only use properly sized equipment to move and load the pipe. Make sure you understand and use proper lifting and moving procedures for pipe and equipment. Avoid bending the pipe or putting the pipe in a bind unless you have the proper safety equipment because the pipe stores energy and will recoil when that energy is released. Also, take a look at the machine you will be using and make sure it is in good working condition and is as clean as possible. The operator's manual covers cleaning and use in detail. That being said, let's learn how to properly use this piece of McElroy equipment. We've already set up our Quick Camp shelter in a previous video. It's now time to load our pipe so we can get started with our fusions. First, we'll load a stick of pipe into the outbound end of the Quick Camp. Two pipe rollers are required to safely load a stick of pipe into the outbound end of the Quick Camp. One pipe stand will need to be placed a few feet from the quick camp and set at a height that will allow the pipe to pass through the pipe seal and above the fixed jaws of the fusion carriage. It is 11 feet from the edge of the shelter to the pipe facing area. The second pipe stand needs to be set to accommodate this pipe travel into the shelter. So depending on the length of pipe you use, your pipe stands must be able to support the pipe on their own before and after moving the pipe into the fusion position. Make sure that your pipe stands are lined up as straight as possible with the U weldment on the quick camp. Getting these pipe stands properly placed now is the key to easy pipe manipulation when it comes time to push the pipe into the quick camp. After the pipe stands are properly positioned, Load the stick of pipe onto the rollers. Make sure to position the pipe as close to the quick camp as possible. Before pushing the pipe into the quick camp, move the fusion carriage as far to the outbound side as possible. This will give the fusion operator plenty of room to move the carriage in order to get the correct amount of pipe seated into the jaws of the carriage. With one man inside the quick camp to monitor the process, Use a front end loader to slowly push the pipe into the quick camp. Once the pipe has reached the pipe rollers on the fusion carriage, it is recommended to raise the pipe roller up to ensure the pipe will clear the jaws. The pipe needs to be pushed into the jaws so that there is six inches of pipe clearing the inside jaw. Lower the pipe rollers so the pipe will rest in the jaws of the carriage. Close the jaws and grip the pipe then move the carriage to the middle of its stroke. With the carriage repositioned, use the carriage movement, carriage pipe lift, and jaws to position the pipe end as desired for facing of the pipe. Now it's time to load a stick of pipe into the receiving end of the quick camp via the Megamac Polyhorse. If you need further training on how to operate a Megamac Polyhorse, refer to McElroy's video titled how to properly use the Megamac Polyhorse on large diameter job sites. All operations of the Megamac Polyhorse will be made from inside the quick camp. From the receiving end window, use the Polyhorse control pendant to load a stick of pipe onto the Polyhorse dispenser. Once the stick of pipe has been loaded, dispense the stick of pipe onto the Polyhorse pipe stands. With the Polyhorse hydraulic pipe stands, lift and align the pipe with the Quick Camp pipe seal frame. Lower the carriage movable end pipe lift all the way down so the pipe will easily clear as it enters the carriage. Drive the pipe into the Quick Camp with the Polyhorse, 
making sure to adjust the pipe height as necessary to clear the top of the pipe seal frame and the pipe lift on the carriage. Once the pipe has been brought far enough into the carriage jaws, lower the pipe into the carriage via polyhorse hydraulic pipe stands. Make adjustments as needed using the carriage movement, carriage pipe lift, and jaws to position the pipe end as desired for facing of the pipe. With both of our pipe ends properly positioned, it is time to face the pipe and make a fusion. We won't detail how to make a fusion in this video, but it has been detailed in another one of our videos titled, How to Fuse Large Diameter Polyethylene Pipes with McElroy Fusion Machines. Please refer to that video if you desire further training on how to make a fusion with our large diameter carriages. Once the pipe has been allowed to cool for the proper time, it can be pulled through the quick camp. Open the carriage jaws and raise both carriage pipe lifts high enough that the contact between the pipe and jaws has been removed. With the pipe raised out of the jaws, move the carriage to approximately half stroke of the carriage movement cylinders. Pull the outbound pipe until the opposite pipe end is near the desired position in the fusion carriage. Be sure to keep in good contact with the front end loader operator so that the pipe isn't pulled too far. The final step is to adjust the carriage to align the fixed jaws with the pipe end. Be sure to lift the pipe end with pipe lifts so the pipe doesn't get scuffed up. Once properly positioned, lower the pipe into the jaws and clamp the jaws around it. Now it is time to bring in another stick of pipe via the Megamac Polyhorse, starting the whole process over again. This video has demonstrated that loading pipe into the McElroy Quick Camp Shelter is a relatively simple process. Just remember that it is very important for you to follow the steps outlined in this video to help ensure your safety, the safety of others on the job site, and the quality of your fusion joints. I hope this video has given you a little more insight to working with a McElroy Quick Camp Shelter. Be sure to check out McElroy's many other videos to help with all your fusion needs. Go to www.mcelroy.com forward slash university to find additional videos and more information.